Let's see, next news is number three. Okay. The Indian Army wants to reportedly ensure that homosexuality and adultery remain punishable offenses and has... Wait, let me actually read the title. Let's try this again. Number three. Indian Army wants adultery and homosexuality to remain punishable offenses. Okay, so here's the summary. The Indian Army wants to reportedly ensure that homosexuality and, adul and adultery remain punishable offenses and has written to the Ministry of Defense about the same according to reports. And uh, this comes after the Supreme Court uh, this, this decriminalized Adultery and read down IPC section 377. Oh, yeah, that's the fair. That's yeah, I see all the LGBT um, rights activists in India. They always have this like, you know, section 377. So I, I've seen that thing under 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 signs that they hold. Okay, so section 377 that criminalize unnatural offenses in September 2018. So if you didn't get that in September 2018, the Supreme Court decriminalized that, right? So, com got rid of that law. Uh, there was a lot of LGBT uh, um, people in the streets, happy, yay, finally, it's not illegal to be gay um, in India, okay? Which is great. Uh, the law is, is so, it's so stupid. The law was called criminalized, quote-unquote, unnatural offenses. That's so, okay. But the Indian Army apparently doesn't like this. The Indian Army wants both of the both the offenses to be punishable under Section 45 of the Army Act that deals with unbecoming conduct. That's weird. Uh, outgoing Indian Army adjutant, adjutant, Adju adjutant, a uh, general lieutenant general. There, this guy has two generals in his title. Or is this a typo? Ashwani Kumar said that they will not do anything that will violate the law of the land. He went on to add that when one joins the Indian army, he or she do, does not get some of the rights and privilege, privileges like other citizens are given under the constitution. Okay, this is weird. So basically, so they, when, they, when we say the Indian army wants this to still be a crime, or be an offense are they just saying this only for the members of the indian army or for the public at large chris do you know let me see from what i read in the article it was just for the indian army just for the indian army so this is where yeah. is the indian army saying so somebody with more knowledge about indian law in the live chat please tell us is is the indian army suggesting that the constitution does not apply to the Indian Army? Is that what the suggestion is? G the law of the land. He said, oh, we want to respect the law of the land. Well, your Supreme fucking Court said that this is not criminal. So how could you have a different law for the Army than everyone else? GV is saying their argument is most of the recruits are from conservative rural India and may not be comfortable around gay people. That brings down group cohesion. Well, go, I mean, f go fuck yourself. If you... It, Wow, okay, if you're, you have a really weak-ass army if if it breaks down because they ha it has some gay people in it, right? right? That, that's one thing. You have also a weak-ass army if you do not defend the constitution of your own land and if you don't uphold the law as... as supported by... as... as Mm, as said by the Supreme Court, right? You have to, you're the army, the Supreme Court says this is a law, and you have to uphold the law. That's your fucking job, right? Lead by example. Like, isn't, um, somebody tell me I'm, oh, Shopam is in the live chat. Shopam, only for the arm, Indian army. Okay, but am I, am I reading, am I reading too much into this that I say that the Indian army cannot do this? Because this is the Supreme Court and saying this should be de it should be decriminalized. Okay, I'm going to remove the camera from Chris. Um, the this should be decriminalized and 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 they're not upholding the law. 
I don't know. Like, is that is can they do that? Is that army its own separate part of the country? Like, this is this shows to me this unity between uh, the Indian Army and the Supreme Court. Let me see. Shopam is saying yes. They want to suggest that they are saying that the law uh, compromises the functions of the army because they will start having sex too much. Wow. All right, but. I mean, can they even do that? Can the army in the Indian army go against the Supreme Court? Is that even allowed? I don't know. Somebody tell us in the... Let me read the top comment. Um, Adreno is saying it's only natural. It's only natural. The military needs discipline. Uh, personal... F oh, wait. So Adrian is supporting the Indian army. Let me see. Adri Adriano is saying it's only natural. The military needs discipline. Personal feelings have no room. If you want to behave as you like, just don't don't join the army. You know, oh God. All right, Adriana. You know, you know that logic does not. F you, you could use that line of reasoning for many, 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 many disgusting, vile, inhumane behavior. Right? You could be extremely brutal and cruel to people by saying, "Well, the army." The army this and the army that. The army needs discipline. The army needs discipline. Uh, really? The army needs discipline? So be be, be discriminate against gay people? Uh, oh, hold on. I'm going to... Chris, I'm going to hang up uh, on you because you're talking well, on the news. All right. So... I mean, the army needs discipline. So it, it has. you have decided... Yeah, the army needs discipline, so you have decided that you do not represent the gay people in your country. Like, isn't the army supposed to be a reflection of the people in India? Shopam is saying military personnel do have a different set of laws and a different court, but I am not sure if they can actually get an opposite law for themselves. Okay, so, oh, so not Shopam, Shopam. Shabam, Shabam, if I'm reading your name wrong, it's because you do, you have S in your name, okay? You don't have SH, so forgive me for that. So they do, apparently in the Indian Army does have a separate law. It's their own separate law from the Supreme Court? That's, that's weird. All right. So Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.